Hi there, my name is Ernest Homeyer, and the first question is, what is the history of Beer Workshop? Well, to understand that, we might need to go back a step. Um, the lodge is now the longest operating lodge in the Adirondack Park, 134 years, and there's a lot of history here. And uh, one of the things that the lodge was from the beginning um, was a great camp, and there's not many great camps in the Adirondack Park left open to the public. And because the great camps, like the lodge, were in the woods and on the lake, it took you a while to get to these backcountry places. And so people didn't just come for a couple of days, they came for weeks, they came for months. And so the great camps became known as a destination where you could be in nature, but they also became known as experiential. Because you were here for so long, you wanted to do different things. So they provide a lot of different programs, everything from music to learning how to cook uh, to outdoor education and recreation, all kinds of different activities for both adults and their families. So in that uh, light, the Great Camps became known as an outdoor place with nature and a place that you can do experiences. And we, as one of the last of the remaining Great Camps open to the public, try to keep that tradition alive. And the History of Beer is one of those programs. The History of Beer uh, is uh, something that I started some years ago now. I keep thinking it was only a couple years ago, but it was actually many years ago. And it started um, with a uh, idea uh, that uh, since my family came from Europe, um, at a very young age, the only vacations we could afford was going to see relatives. And they were in Italy, they were in Spain, uh, they were all over. And in Europe, the culture of drinking at that time was very different. Um, you start off much younger, but it wasn't necessarily about getting drunk. It was, you know, having some family spirits uh, together at the dinner table. And so I got to experience a lot of different uh, spirits. And uh, so when I came up with the idea of wanting to take some of that knowledge and bring it to you, I thought, well, if I'm going to do these kinds of history things, uh, I'd like to become educated more about that. So I became the certif certification program uh, to be able to teach this kind of material. And that developed uh, a idea of having these theme workshops. Many of you have probably done tastings. Um, I find them really boring. Um, I'm really interested in sort of like the history of how things came about. And to me, knowing about, you know, the history of where did this porter beer come from or where did this stout come from is really fascinating to me. And frankly, it, uh, you know, makes the beer almost taste better. So the history of beer program changes every month. Uh, we are, uh, simulate uh, four different beers, always on a theme. Uh, so these history of beer workshops will change each month. And this month, uh, it is a generic intro into the history of beer. Uh, and so a couple of things. Uh, one is a lot of the early origins of beer is based on our oral history, uh, a lot of different interpretations. And so uh, what I'm pre presenting to you today is really my own opinion on how some of this evolved. And I like to tell it as a story. And sometimes that story is simplistic. Uh, sometimes that story tends to be uh, more fun because the real thing that I'm trying to get you to think about here is that beer has such a rich history and there are so many different flavors of beer. And you can have a porter beer from England and it is gonna taste different than a porter beer from the United States. And you know why is that? And so if we present it as a story, we can hopefully make it entertaining. So take it as a story. Uh, because technically, every point that I make, somebody could probably be standing over here and saying, well, you know, that's true, but, and they'd be right. Um, so hopefully we'll have a little bit of fun uh, talking about uh, the history of it with the goal being that if I can do one thing, and that is to get you to start doing your own investigation, uh, I think the whole beer flavor will taste better.